Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the featherweight bout between Francis Marshall versus Marcelo Rojo. And how I see this one, I'm going to go average confidence, Francis Marshall to beat Marcelo Rojo. And this one is very much speculated, uh, speculation, well, I guess they all speculation. Like, you speculating this going to happen, this going to happen. Like, you ain't there, you can't really. But this one's definitely more in the reach tomorrow because it's not like so much. Francis Marshall is only 6 and 0. This is only his first fight in the UFC. But um, Rojo really just ain't a winner. So again, that's what I'm saying. This is speculation. This is really reach pick. I think Marcelo Rojo got some good things to him, but on the altar, like in summation with Marcelo Rojo, I just don't think he UFC caliber. I feel like he got some of the skills. He can hold his own. But I think Francis Marshall, I think, can make some no, can make some big leaps in his game from fight to fight. And I think he has a higher ceiling. Now. I think he'll show that in this, in this case, just based off the skills that like and experience and what we've seen. Like I said, that's why it's average. And like I said, we really haven't seen enough from Francis Marshall yet. And Marcelo Rojo is not just a walkover guy, to be honest. He's not a walkover. I don't do I think he really belongs in the UFC. Like he can really hold his own in the UFC and you know get wins. He can hold his own in the UFC, but can he get wins and consistently and stick in the UFC? Certainly not. I don't think so. I mean, like I said, oh, he's been in the UFC for X amount of time, but it's really more so because he ain't been fighting that much. If he's been fighting act actively, he would have been out of the UFC already. But um, yeah, I think um Marshall should be able to beat. I think Marshall's the better wrestler grappler in this one. I do like the fact that he, that he has a pretty decent check hook. I know, um, what's his name? Charles Jordan didn't really have good, you know, real good counters. So uh, he allowed Marcelo Rojo to just be able to walk him down a lot, which made that fight pretty close. And then I'm like, who else he fought? The guy he fought, I said, leading up to the fight, I said that guy actually has check hooks. And, you know, actually has counters, actually has, you know, better footwork. He don't just move straight back a lot of times like Charles Jordan does. So it's not going to have the same success. And then, like, he went on to, like, say, use those lateral motions, use those counters, use those check hooks. And, you know, get him off him. It wasn't like the same case where he had to, you know, like Jordan had to rally behind to stop him or he might have lost a decision. Like, so you could be a skilled fighter, but you'd be like something that would make a fight that probably should be a fight you should dominate, make it a harder fight because you lack certain little tools or you just have little gaps in your game that you have improved upon. And I think Marshall, even though he likes it, not to the level those guys are, he does have a check hook. And I think he'll be able to use a lot against Rojo. Rojo to come a lot, trying to pressure you and just be in your face. And I feel like he'll be able to get him off with that and he'll be able to get him off with takedowns. Just all I think he beats him everywhere this fight goes and just has something of response for everything that Rojo brings. I don't think Rojo really brings that much power. He'll bring pressure, like low level pressure, but he brings pressure. And with that low level pressure, Marshall should be able to get him off with check hooks, should be able to use his movement. And also, when he does come with pressure, he should be a level change and scoop him up, put him on his back, and just really never really give Rojo that consistent time to really be working, give him a response to everything he's doing, and never allow him to get comfortable, never allow him to get settled, and never allow him to, you know, really push and maintain the pace. Always have him. Responding to your actions and following your pace and you know being stuck onto your flow. And I think that's what Marshall will do to Marcelo Rojo. So in this one, I got Francis Marshall via decision. 